Hello everyone, you may have just picked up your Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE, and I'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this tablet. First of all, this is a very, very good tablet, and I think you made a really good choice. So let me give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use it. On the outside of your particular tablet, you have your front-facing camera, you have your you know, panel as you normally would, you have a little bit of bezel around it. At the very top of your particular display, you don't really have much of anything. Typically, I use my display like this, but you can also have it the other way. So at the top, you have your power button with the fingerprint sensor built in. You have your volume buttons, the flat side, a little bit of like a microphone right there. At the very top, you have a few things. You have your speaker grill. You have your SD card slot removal things, which we'll talk about in a second. At the other side, you don't really have much either, except this little accessory port, which is pretty cool. And on the other side, you don't have much except a charging port and then another speaker. So this is a USB Type-C charger. You can go and charge this thing up, which is very, very cool. On the back side of your particular tablet, you do have a single camera setup, a little like thing that says powered by, you know, or secured by AKG. Some other cool stuff around here, some like little design things, but overall a pretty good looking tablet nonetheless. Now, a very important thing before you actually use your tablet is actually removing the SD card. Now, if you wanna go ahead and remove the SD card and actually input something else within it, you wanna go ahead and flip your tablet to the top side where the speaker grill is, kind of closest to the camera. Now, the side closest to the camera, you're going to have a little port right there. What you're going to wanna to do is you wanna grab your little like SIM card eject tool, which you have right there. And all you're going to have to do here is go ahead and input that right inside of this hole. So if you're looking at the camera, it's gonna be like this. You can slide this particular tool in just like so. You can go and take it out like this. Now what you can do here is you can pry this thing open just like so. Then you can go and see this particular tool come out. Now you should be able to go and input your SD card right here. So it's a micro SD card. You can go and slide this thing in and just kind of put it in right there. And that's really all you're going to have to do. At this point, you can go and place this thing back in just like so. Lock it right into place. And you've just now inputted your SD card inside of your particular Samsung Galaxy tablet. Now flipping this thing back on its side, we can go and make our way over to the front portion of our particular tablet. Now interestingly enough, inside of our tablet, you can always see that we have a bunch of different things going on within it. Now this is our lock screen, so I just have to click down in the top right corner. Now within our lock screen, there's not anything super crazy. We just have our date and time. We have our little like two buttons icons at the bottom. And if we ever have notifications or anything, they'll basically come up at the top. And you can always double tap to turn off or double tap to turn on your particular tablet. Now, if you hold down on the lock screen, you can get into your lock screen editing panel. So here you can go and edit up your lock screen if you want to. In this case, we'll just kind of move on from it because if we've already edited up enough stuff, you know, this is just a beginner's video. Swiping up, you'll come into your standard display that you probably would have seen before. So here you have a couple of different things. You have your status bar at the very top. You have your app icons, a little like widget, and you can modify these widgets and everything as you normally would. Now, big things to keep in mind, you can move your widgets around in your app icons. You can create different pages. The dock usually stays consistent like this, but you can go and move around and you can move docs, you know, move apps inside of the dock by holding it down and moving it right there. You can also move it up. And you can remove or keep widgets if you want to just by removing them and deleting them like this. That's another pretty big thing. And then if you want to access all the applications inside of your tablet, you can swipe up from the bottom and you will see all the applications that you currently have. So you can swipe through and see those current apps. You can also swipe back out if you want to get out of it. Now, some other big things are our gestures. Now, if you want to, you can open up an application. And if you want to go back home, you can tap on the home button right here. It's always going to take you back home. If you're inside of a particular application like this, and if you click onto a page and you want to go back to the previous page, you can click on the back button right here. Now, if you want to go ahead and actually split screen multitask and get into your multitasking panel, you want to go ahead and click on these three lines right here. So what you want to do, if you want to split screen and all that, click onto these three lines and you will see this application manager come up. Now you can close out of all your applications here, but if you want to get into split screen multitasking, which is a really cool thing, you want to click, you want to open up an application. So first of all, open up an app that you want to split screen. You want to click on the three lines here and you want to click on the little icon that's above that application. So for us, for this one, it's right there. So we can tap on this one and we'll see this pop-up come up. Now, if we want to, we can choose either to open up in pop-up view or open up in split screen you know, view. Click on open up in split screen view, and this page is going to come up. Now, you can choose a different application that you want to actually split screen within. So not every app is compatible, but you can go and choose a different app. So in this case, we can choose something like, you know, Google or Google Drive or something like that. So we can actually have two different applications open up at the same exact time. You can move this middle icon right here to make an app bigger or smaller. So that's a really cool thing. If you want to get out of it, you can just get back into multitasking, swipe completely out of one of the applications, then you'll basically come into the normal view.
Now, another big thing is modifying your settings in your application stuff. So if you want, I'd recommend going through and getting into your settings application. And within the settings application, we have a lot of different things. The big thing though I'd recommend getting used to is within your display settings. So one big thing, if we want to get into display right here, you actually have a couple of different things. You can modify your brightness, you can modify your dark and night mode, but you can also modify your motion smoothness. So if we get into motion smoothness right here, you'll basically see a few things. You'll see adaptive and you'll get to see standard. If you want to enable your 90 hertz display on your particular Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE, you want to go and click on adaptive right here and you want to click apply. What this is going to do is it's going to convert your particular display from being a 60 hertz display to a 90 hertz display. This is something that's very important because what you're going to be able to do here is you're basically going to be able to go ahead and have a somewhat of a smoother display. That way, whenever you click home or you ever go, you know, do anything inside of your display, it's going to be a much smoother and faster experience than if it was just a standard, you know, 60 hertz. So if you want to enable your 90 hertz, that's another thing I recommend doing. Clicking back into your, you know, split screen view right here, going into multitasking, going back into settings, another big thing is updating your particular Galaxy tab. So scroll all the way down, you'll see your software update panel here. You'll click on software update, and I'd recommend downloading and installing the latest update that's available for your particular tablet. That's another very big thing I'd recommend doing as well. Clicking back home, you come into this panel. Your status bar is another very important thing. If you come down from your status bar, you'll see a few things. You'll see your tablet, you know, notifications and stuff which you can swipe out of. You'll also see some quick toggles. So you can increase or decrease your brightness right here. You have your toggles up here, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode. If you swipe down one more time, you see a couple of different things that you can modify. All these other toggles and so many other things here that you can kind of modify as well, which is another really cool thing. And I'd recommend going through here and kind of modifying these as much as you want to. Another big thing that you may want to do on your particular Samsung Galaxy tablet is screenshotting. Now, screenshotting on your tablet is very easy, and it really doesn't take too much time at all either. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to find two buttons. You want to find your power button, and you want to find your volume down button as well. So you want to, in order to screenshot, you want to click the power button and the volume down button at the exact same time, and you will see your screen kind of blink at you, and you will go and see this little pop-up kind of come up as well. So to screenshot, once again, all you're doing is clicking the power down button or the power button and the volume down button at the exact same time. And what that's going to do is take a screenshot. You can view these screenshots inside of your gallery application. So hopping inside of gallery right there, you'll see these screenshots and you can see for us, we have two different screenshots available, this one and this one. And once again, you can kind of modify these and kind of change these up whichever way you want to. But that's another really cool thing and another really awesome thing that you have inside of your Samsung Galaxy tablet. Now on top of that, another really cool thing that you may want to end up doing inside of your Galaxy Tab is screen recording. This is another very cool thing that I'm sure a lot of people want to actually end up doing. So in order to screen record on your Samsung Galaxy tablet, what you're going to want to do is you want to swipe down from the top left inside of your particular tablet to get into this panel, and you want to swipe down one more time. Now within here, you're going to see within these toggles, a little screen recording toggle. If you don't see it, you should be able to add it by just holding it down or finding a little add button. But from here, what you're going to want to do is you want to tap into that little screen recording toggle right there, and this panel is going to come up. What you want to do is you want to choose whether you want to screen record, you know, the, with no sound, with media and media and mic. With media means you're recording everything that's on the screen. With media and mic is just recording everything on the screen. And if you're talking, if you're wanting to talk, you can record those things as well. So whenever you're ready, you can go and modify these settings whichever way you want to, and you want to click start recording. So from here, it's going to count down from three, two, one, and whatever you do on this particular display, you can go and start recording. So this is another cool thing. Now, whenever you're done recording, what you can do is you can click on the stop button on the top right corner. So you can click on stop right there. And what that's going to do is it's going to go and completely stop the recording. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and just go back into your gallery application. So you can hop into gallery just like this. And if you go and see your particular screen recording, you can tap right into here, and you should be able to see that screen recording that just comes up right there too. So that's exactly how you screen record on your Samsung Galaxy tablet. On top of that, if you want to go ahead, one of the final things is powering down and powering on your particular tablet. With the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE, there's not really anything super crazy to do here. You do have a dedicated power button at the very top. So what you can always do is you can go ahead and do a couple things. One, you can hold down both the power down button and the volume up button at the exact same time to get into this type of panel. So what you can always do is you can hold down the power button and the volume down button at the exact same time. And what this is going to do 
is it's going to bring up the power off panel. So if you want to go and power down your particular tablet, you can click power off. If you want to restart your tablet, you can just click restart. But within the Galaxy Tablet Control Center, you have another option. You can swipe down at the very top and you can swipe down one more time and you will also be able to see a power button inside of your control center. So if you ever want to power down your tablet or just restart it, you can always just tap on that little power button right there. You can either power off your tablet and restart it, and that's another option you have there too. And if it's completely dead, if you, have to, if you just you know powered it off, you can just hold down the power button at the very top to completely power down this particular tablet or power it on, and that's exactly how you do it. So at a very high level, that's exactly how you can use your Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. There's clearly a lot more things that you can probably do with this tablet, but hopefully by now you have a decent understanding of it. On top of all, the th on top of all these things, I would recommend going through and installing a case and a screen protector on your tablet as well. But that is pretty much at a high level how to use your Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.